Welcome to Best Graphics. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today we have 2009 Nissan Murano mm -hmm. and we have a problem with the key. Uh, let's go and check what's going on and what is the solution. Okay, here is a car, 2009 Nissan Murano. Okay, you notice our problem is that this is the key that my friend has it. Mm -hmm. When you see the problem like this in your car, in your key, please try to get the spare key. So now this one, it work. Door lock, unlock, work. But the proximity, when I put it in, is done. You're going to say you no key. You see here? No key. Let me try to see if I can hit it a little bit. It's going to work. I don't know. But door lock, lock. Door lock and unlock work. But uh, don't, don't wait. You see, nothing. You say no key. You see? No key. So now we have to start all over. So I have two keys. I'm gonna to try to see. We're gonna program one, mm -hmm. and uh, we we'll see what happens. So we are using our hotel. Okay. So I'm gonna go open it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna to go to Emo. Mm -hmm. Put the hazard light on, mm -hmm. so that to let the the door, you know, like uh, you don't want to be into here. Yeah. Yes. Don't let. Yeah, it's still working. Door lock, unlock, but the proximity is the, the Immobilizer is gone. So we're gonna go here mm -hmm. and I say accept. I already connect my scanner. It has a it's a wireless Bluetooth. It's already connected here through the small icon. I'm gonna see here, you see VCI connected. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna go with Nissan or I go with uh, with VIN number, it's not gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put manual. Manual uh, I don't need the VIN number, just leave mm -hmm. it like this. I'm gonna go by Nissan. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it will try to communicate what you need to do, manual selection or auto. I'm just going to go to auto. Sometime it will get it hazard on. And then it will go and look for the car, year, model, and well, what the functionality. I have the hazard light is on. It takes a little bit of time. You know, it's going one by one. So it takes at least one minute before, you see, the door lock unlock is locked by itself. Always I give advice to the people who have cars to have a spare key. Mm -hmm. a spare key is a peace of mind. Yes. 28 person. Mm -hmm. No, I says 28 person. I will wait. I will. Okay, hold on now. Okay, mm -hmm. now you see we come to the uh, email smart. So. If you go to this one, it will not solve your problem. I'm going to show you why, because you don't have a steering lock release. Also, don't forget that you have a security light blinking there. Mm -hmm. So that one, when it's time come, it will flash five times. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, I'm able to diagnose the car. Okay. After this one is finished, he asks you, all key lost, but it will not solve. Sometimes it will not solve your problem when you come to all key lost. So let's see what's gonna happen. Sometimes it's work, mm -hmm. sometimes it's not. This one clear all the key. Okay, insert the key. And then without doing anything, turn the key on. If it's work, okay, it doesn't work. So this way it doesn't work, it doesn't communicate. So we have to do it different way. Escape this. Okay, now escape this. Come to Emo Smart. In Emo Smart, Go to Immobilizer Remote and then click on this. Still unlock the steering. You're gonna hear click, click right soon. Okay, say yes. Turn the hazard on, yes. Then yes, you see the steering column release. And what is say? Success. So we say okay. 
now maybe you register a key or you can do something let me just push the button it's supposed mm -hmm. to turn on and that was supposed to blink five times mm -hmm. so let me see okay because there is no key here i'm gonna put the key let's see what can happen see here we go okay now ignition is on let me take it out again also but if you notice there is nothing there so now with the ignition on we're going to do the registration i'm going to go here and then ignition lock has our own battery switch let me see what it's going to say okay i'm going to say yes uh, insert the ignition key in the slot okay Okay, let me see now. Let me see now what it's gonna do. Now it's okay. So now what are you gonna do? Turn this one out and then what you're gonna do is turn the key off, take the ignition out, light will go off, put it in, turn the key. That one is gonna blink five times. It's supposed to blink one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's good. Now turn it off, turn it again on. It's done so i'm gonna take it out push it again here push this door lock unlock work now push this one because this one here you work always with the remote this is the first generation i'm gonna push the brake my car is start everything is good and perfect <laughs> so if you need to do more than one key you're not going to close it. Don't, don't put the first one. Just take it out and put the second key, the third key, fourth key, and then after that, you put the last one in and it will work. Right now, everything is good. You are in the road. Uh, your car is perfect. Also, I see something else here. You see in this place here, we have uh, airbag light on. We don't know what happened, but I'm going to diagnose it for you. This is a different story. I'm going to check it out for you. I don't charge you for it, but we're going to go out of this system yes i'm gonna exit it and we come back again by by vin number but this time we're gonna chase diagnosis diagnosis by vin now you're gonna see the car is running i will read the vin number automatically here just wait a minute you see infinity nissan because nissan infinity is the same i say accept now it's gonna go through the same uh, step initialize you see that the vin number mm -hmm. i will say okay now we'll break it down, Murano, 2009, I say yes. Now diagnose, I need one control unit, I don't want to go all. I need airbag, what happened to my airbag? Airbag, 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 it's coming. Read code, what happened to you airbag? Do you have, okay, occupant sensor unit fail. Occupant sensor unit fail. That means we have this code, and this code it look like Occupant sense unit fail. Um, sometime I believe on this on the seat here, mm -hmm. there is a unit on it. If that unit is go bad, it creates this problem. Mm -hmm. But I try to see if I can I can erase the code. Mm -hmm. You say ignition have to be off, but uh, I don't have no ignition off. Read the code again. No code. The airbag light is gone. Wow. So. <laughs> I don't see nothing, maybe sometimes say fail, maybe it's a history. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start it again. That's the airbag light. If it's come back again, that means mm -hmm. we have a problem. If it never come back again, mm -hmm. that's we are good. So everything look okay. Mm -hmm. You have check engine light also on, right? Yes. Let me see why. Mm -hmm. Also that another issue, another, uh, another, uh, another, I go to the engine, and then from the engine, it will communicate for us, and we will go, we will go to, to the engine to see what code we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The engine, okay, read code. Sometimes could be in the transmission, sometimes could be just, yeah, okay, we have air, air fuel ratio sensor. Air fuel ratio, that's, that's O2 sensor. Okay. 
air fuel, air fuel, mm -hmm. ratio sensor, one bank one. So okay. it could be an auto sensor. Mm -hmm. We have a problem there. I will clear it also. Mm -hmm. If they come back, then we can fight for fixing it. Okay, raise it. I say yes. Yes. I suppose it turn the key off, but if work, work. Okay. Let me go read again. There is nothing. You see nothing. What we have again? We have the tire pressure sensor on. Tire pressure also. Let's go again. Check the tire. That one, where is the tire pressure? I don't know where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be inside the um, BCM. But on the side of the BCM. Okay, diagnose, initialize. Inside here, we are supposed to get the tire pressure sensor. Oh, not that, go back. Go down, air pressure monitor. A special function, read ID. But I don't see no codes, you see? Mm -hmm. Everything is there, but I don't see no code. Maybe the code is through, the code gonna be through, through the BCM. BCM code because he can say air 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 pressure. He will give you the code because BCM is the mother of all this. So if I can get the code, I will delete the code. Mm, establish communication with the BCM. It may take some time. I cannot get it. Yeah, you see here, mm -hmm. communication, flat tire, right rear, flat tire, battery voltage, battery voltage, battery voltage. All these are flat tire, you have flat tire on right rear tire, right, right rear, RR. Yeah, and then voltage, volt, but it's right now, you have it. So this here, I'm going to clear all this code and see which one going to come back. You see, everything is clean now. Read code again. No code. The tire pressure sensor also is gone. <laughs> so everything. <laughs> yeah, but check your tire. Yes. If, if you need air, yes. that means the right yes. rear. Okay. Oh, I'm going to this is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please <laughs> subscribe, share, yes. and let us know if you have any help for any question of your car, or if, even if you need part for your car. I'm gonna put a link there. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe, share, and like, and see you in another video.